Once upon a time there was an Indian yogi named Gadada Chatterjee, who later came to be known as Sri Ramakrishna. He was a child of Kudaram Chatterjee. He is born in Kamapuka, West Bengal. Kudaram has named him Gadadha. He was a child who was loved by everyone in the village. At the age of five Gadadha was sent to the village school. He was less inclined towards the former education and was often absorbed in spiritual moods. When he was eight years old his father passed away. The absence of his father made him thoughtful and he became keen on learning devotional. He also became fond of wandering monks and their serene life. From his 17th year in life, he became to be known as Ramakrishna. During this year Ramakrishna moved to Kolkata where he became a priest in the temple to Ganeshwar. Ramakrishna's way of worship differed from everyone else. He spent hours adoring Markali's image while forgetting his priestly duties. He would wander off into the jungle at night and meditate all night. His strong and insane devotion worried his mother and so she got him married to Marsarada Devi. She was only five years then. However, this did not change him. He continued to worship Markali madly. Through the guidance of his guru, he was able to attain Nirvikalpa Samadhi, and experiences truth in all religion. Ramakrishna sees a path in Islam and Christianity and by doing so he broke the strict rules followed by Brahmins in 19th century India. Ramakrishna's encounter with a Muslim had given him the urge to see God through this religion. He had changed his lifestyle to that of a Muslim and forgotten all about Markali. He had envisioned a bearded man, who led him on the path to the high spiritual experience. From here he realized the many differences between the two religions, and believed that one day this would be forgotten and both would coexist. Ramakrishna's first encounter with Christianity was during his visit to a follower who had read him the Bible. Upon this encounter Ramakrishna about the need to see the world and asked Jesus Christ. This was strangely fulfilled during his visit to another follower Ramakrishna was staring at a photo of Mother Mary and Jesus, during which the photo came to light. Rays of light emanating from the picture struck him and his mind was filled with thoughts of Jesus once again he had forgotten about Markali. During this time Ramakrishna was walking outdoors when a heavenly man approached, he believed this was Jesus Christ himself. This encounter led him to believe that all religions shared similar virtues and he questioned why different religions quarreled with one another. Many became his devotees among them was Narendra Nath Dutta. And later he was known as Swami Vivekananda. Ramakrishna never said all religions are the same. He realized that differences exist between them. Despite all differences, he saw that all religions have one ultimate goal. And that ultimate goal makes every religion true. His teachings believe people to regain faith in God. Several missions preserve the visions of Ramakrishna. Bila Moth is the main organization that was founded by Swami Vivekananda in Kolkata, West Bengal. The architecture of this building combines designs seen in temples, mosques, and churches. It symbolizes unity among all religions. Despite his unfortunate death, Ramakrishna's life is still viewed as an inspiration to many. He shows that regardless of differences all religions are valid. In his encounters, he recognized that God is one with many forms to name. People who refer to Jesus, Shiva or Markali, are ultimately referring to God. Please help us by subscribing the channel. Your little effort encourages us to create more amazing videos for you. Thank you.